Hello friends, it's Miss Graves and today I'll be taking you on a virtual field trip of the Art Center in Norfolk. The Art Center is a community art center that's been around since 1986. We do really fun classes such as our wreath making classes, painting with watercolor, acrylic, or oil. We also have fun kids classes such as stop motion animation and these fun kid dips. The Art Center has a lot of really fun partnerships, including this one with Norfolk Public Schools and SunTrust. We love going to visit our friends at school and providing after-school programs for them and their parents. We also do programs with the Girl Scouts, where they can come and earn one of six different art badges for free. Here's them working on some of their jewelry badges. As we continue on our field trip, I will show you more about the Art Center, including our 23 artists that work out of this facility. But first, let's take a little sneak peek of our main gallery. In our main gallery, we try to do about 10 exhibitions every year. If we're not doing an exhibition, we're doing something fun for the community like our annual holiday sale. In our holiday sale, we have a lot of different mediums, including ceramics, these fun trinkets, and lots and lots of jewelry. Across the hallway, we will be entering Suite 120. This is where we'll find a lot of our associate artists. The first associate artist is John Hicks. He works primarily in wood. He even saves all of his little pieces of wood and creates collages. Across the hall, we have resident artist Kathy Jo Ramsey who you can often find in her work area giving demos of her lamp working. Around the corner, we have Carrie Woodard, an associate artist who also teaches classes such as these really fun resin coasters. Next to Carrie, we have associate artist Cindy Brown, who is an abstract artist who paints lighthouses and mini floral work. Next to Cindy, we have Ephrica Johnson, who paints beautiful land and seascapes. Diana Stone accompanies this associate artist space with her beautiful collage work. It's really fun to get up close to these pieces of art. Around the corner, we have more associate artist space, such as associate artist Yvonne Bradley, a ceramicist who makes beautiful pieces as well as these wonderful knitted scarves. We'll take a peek in the ceramic studio to see if we can see her working hard. Over here we have associate artist Jen Hillard who uses a lot of different mediums and animals in her work. And here's the ceramic studio. Hi, I'm Yvonne Bradley. I'm an associate artist with the art. I've been with the art for I guess two years now. Um, I'm a potter. Uh, and what I'm doing right now is um, I'm putting glaze on a pot that I have made. Um, I made it on the wheel. You can see that rather muddy wheel. Um, I was working on something earlier. Then when it dries, it goes into the kiln and it dries a little bit more. <clears throat> and then um, uh, it comes out when it's dried in that form. It's called bisque. And then you can put glaze on it. Uh, which is what I'm doing now, and you can see I have different colors of glaze. Uh, this is a really pretty one that I like. I'm making some um, plant pots for my mother, as a matter of fact. Uh, so I will put the glaze on it, uh, painting it on, and then um, I will give it to Miss Holly, and she will put it back into the kiln, and it will come out all beautiful and shiny and, and very, very hard, because glaze does what's called vitrify, and it kind of turns into a glass coating, which is, which is really fun. It would be nice if some of you all would learn to do some pottery. It's a great deal of fun. You get to play in the mud. Speaking of playing in the mud, here's a video of Miss Whitfield and Miss Graves doing pottery. Take a look at some of our creations. Miss Whitfield made some cute little sea animals in this beautiful bowl. The next artist we're going to see is Kathy Jo Ramsey. Hey. My name is Kathy Jo, and I'm a glass worker here at New York. And I do two types of glass work. I do what is called kiln work, which is the larger flat pieces. 
in the vases, and that's cold working glass and putting elements on and then firing it in a great big kiln and then taking it out and sometimes putting it in a mold that changes the shape. And the second type I do here is called lamp work, which is using glass rod with a mandrel and melting the glass and shaping it. Here you can see Kathy Jo's oysters, her cute little dogs, and many other pendants that are all made out of glass using a technique called lamp working. My famous dog. <laughs> the next artist we'll visit is Ken Wright. Hello, this is Ken Wright. Come on in my studio. Get glad to have you. I have been at the center here for going on 35 years. That's ever since day one of the center. My work, as you see, is very contemporary, very abstract. Uh, acrylics on canvas. And uh, I like to work from landscape, and in a lot of my uh, work, you can actually see the landscape in the piece. But I like for the viewer to become the artist. So when you look at Ken Wright's work, then you become the artist, and then what do you see is what I ask you. And you may say, well, I see a bird, or I see a uh, landscape, I see a river, and that's what it would be to you. So that's what the piece would be all about. Thank you so much for coming in my studio. Thank you. Next to Ken Wright, we have associate artist Nancy Bazin. Nancy paints in bright, beautiful colors. Then we have the Old Dominion studio. This is my studio. I share it with my good friend Eric Smith. He's a painter, and many of his paintings are these large-scale paintings on the wall. Hello, my name is Holly Graves. I have been a resident artist here at the Art Center for about a year and a half. I work primarily in ceramics, but I do dabble in a little bit of all the mediums just because I'm studying to be an art teacher. So if you want to take a look around here, I have a few of my pottery pieces, as well as some drawings, paintings, collage, and printmaking. The next artist we'll meet is Shiva. Hi, I'm on the board. Hi, my name is Shiva Vinyasa. Shiva was kind enough to show me a photo of a still life that he set up. He arranged a bunch of different rocks in a different compositions and sketched them out until he found something that he was very happy with. Then he took it to his final paper to create his drawing. As you can see, many artists go through many steps before creating their perfect drawing. Here's a little preview of the other side of his studio. As we go down this hallway, we enter the kiln room. This is just for staff, but I will show you a little sneak peek of what's in the kiln. Ooh, very nice. Down this hallway, we'll be entering into Suite 100, where we'll see the rest of our friends. We do a lot of really fun things in Suite 100, including our classes and musical canvases. For musical canvases, we have three of our artists, three canvases, and three genres of music. We have them switch every 10 minutes, and they have to pick up where the last artist left off. Eric Smith is starting the background of this octopus. Jen is adding salmon, and you can see here that resident artist Vivian is adding bubbles. These pieces will be auctioned off and will help us raise money for a nonprofit. We also do classes such as paint pouring, where our participants can come back and pick up their beautiful creations. We have a few more associate artists in Suite 100, including Will Jordan, Deanna Strother, and more. Deanna is also a resident artist and we'll be visiting her studio soon. Look at these super fun mixed media bugs created in our second Saturday free program. Be sure to check out the website for more information.
The next associate artist we'll see is Ned Lessig. He creates these awesome landscapes that are really fun to see. Then we have associate artist Janice Gaymaker. Janice has been with DART for quite some time as well, and she likes to create landscapes, these cute dogs, and many more that you can come and flip through. As we go around the corner, we will find resident artist Pamela Winslow's studio. Miss Pam has been with DR for over 33 years, and she uses a lot of different mediums in her paintings. She tends to add layers of fabric, paper mache, beads, and more into her paintings. Take a look at these in progress paintings. She also creates these wonderful costumes that our kids love to play with during summer camp. Next, we have resident artist Vivian Davis. All right, well, welcome to my studio. I uh, work in a lot of different mediums, so if you take the whole tour, you gotta come in just a little bit and kind of look up and over, because I love pyrography and I love working on wood. So I've got a few pieces of that in here. I started a series from my old hometown called um, Sykesville's Wild Life. And so you'll see some of the pieces from that. Started a new series for local. And my first one is the Fox on the Beach over in Ocean View by the pier. Oh, and as you guys can tell, I absolutely love sea life and water and, and fish and birds. And so I tend to paint a lot of that. And um, my big pelican is on a poor background, probably one of the biggest ones I've done, and I have to finish him off a little bit, but he's on his way. The next resident artist we'll visit is Virginia Parsons. Virginia likes to create lots of different mermaids and sea life in her artwork. Take a look at this wall over here. It has lots of different mermaids that were created using pebbles and seashells. How creative. Next, we will visit resident artist Jamie Phillips. She creates large-scale murals and paintings. Uh, my name is Jamie Phillips, and I'm a resident at the D Art Center. Um, and I am an oil painter and mural artist. And right now, I'm working on a large piece right here, and a technique I tend to use a lot is a grid. You can see here that Jamie has drawn out her grid, and then she goes back to her computer where she has her reference photo, and this helps her figure out what goes in each square. Here's some more of Jamie's artwork. They are so beautiful and very detailed. Next, we will visit resident artist Walter Hardy. Walter is a grad student at Norfolk State University. He is a mixed media artist and he uses a lot of different mediums. Next, we'll visit Deborah Small. Deborah Small has been with D Art Center for quite some time as well. She's a mixed media artist and here she's creating some holiday ornaments. She stores any and everything to use for her art. Lastly, we will see resident artist Deanna Strother. Hi, I'm Deanna Strother. I've been at the Art Center for two years. I've been here one year as a resident artist. I'm a fluid artist and I teach paint pouring workshops. And I also do kids' dips, wine glass dips, and more. Deanna's studio is super fun to walk through to see all of her paint pouring creations. She uses a lot of different methods and techniques in her paint pouring, so it's really fun to see her creative process. She uses so many different colors, and she mixes her own paints. I would love to see you for one of our clay classes, or maybe even a pet portrait class, or even our summer camp, or maybe just a stop in and try on Miss Pam's fun costumes. Whatever it may be, we are so excited that you joined us for our field trip at the Art Center. We can't wait to hear about what you are most excited about and what you look forward to seeing soon. Bye, friends.